hi guys and welcome back to my channel my name is ramona queen b welcome back to another video for all my new subscribers thank you so much for joining the fam and for all my oldies and my regular viewers thank you so much for joining me in another video if you are new to my channel my channel focus on lifestyle and everything in between we have a bit of fashion bit of luxury bit of travel so we have everything that you would need so if all of those things interest you please don't forget to smash that subscribe button join in the fam and turn on that notification so you can be updated whenever I upload new videos so I'm sure you guys will see from the thumbnail that we'll be talking about fragrances today so my main aim of doing this because winter is coming to an end so I wanted to basically go through some of my favorite fragrances that I've been using throughout the winter season and just share it with you guys I I am not a, a perfume connoisseur I just know what I like and to be fair most of these fragrances have similar notes in them and I think maybe that's why I like them so much but we'll make this quick and um simple video just showing you my favorites telling you what I like about each and yeah so without further ado let's jump into it okay guys so I have six parfums that I want to discuss with you or show you guys and I'm going to be starting from the one i've had the longest to the one i've had the least and what i'll do is to make this video quicker so i'm not here chatting to you guys all day because you guys know my videos can be a bit lengthy i will add the notes maybe on that side um of each parfum and then i'll literally just talk you through the one that i can smell and the one that i like because I know that a lot of these perfumes have a lot of notes in them. So I'll just, I think that will be easier to do. So I have my trusty phone with me to go through to make sure I'm saying the right stuff for the right parfums. So the first perfume that I've had, this was actually a gift. It is the Tom Ford Orchid. I'm not sure if you can see the plate. Will it? Yeah, there we go. The Tom Ford Black Orchid. I got this um as a gift um about two years ago i think and i know there's a long time to still have a perfume two years is a long time however i really do baby this perfume because i only wear it on like semi special occasions so if i'm going to a gig or a concert or a comedy show or like literally outings and i don't go to them very often because obviously we've had lockdown so we're just starting to have those open again so i think that's one of the main reason why i haven't used it as much as i'd wanted to but that's what i usually wear these two is a very long lasting scent and it's very masculine and i must say i do like masculine scents and um, especially it's just, just a nice cozy scent to me so i'm just going to tell you some of the top notes that i'm feeling um and then we we go into it so some of the top notes are the black currant which you can definitely smell you have the truffle the gardenia the jasmine the maran orange there's there's quite a lot of top notes and then the heart note you have the orchid the spice the gardenia jasmine and lotus and then the base note is a mexican chocolate a patchouli and um, vanilla amber sandalwood and white musk now I definitely love the amber and sandalwood is one of my baseline favorite notes anything that has sandalwood in it i'm in it with the sandalwood the jasmine the lotus the black currant and the orchid those you can all smell and the spices ooh, you can definitely smell that as well it is one of them scent that literally has you like i don't know what it is but you can't mix it up with any other scent like you when you smell black orchid you know it's a black orchid like there's no other perfume out there like it and i think that's why i like it so much so this is definitely one of my faves and i'm sure that by the end of this year there won't be much left because your girl is planning to be out <laughs> so i'll be using it quite a lot to be honest i mainly use it during winter time because i find that it's a bit too heavy for like um spring summer and i think that's one of the reasons why i've had it so long as well but um yeah definitely one of my faves and a must-have i think it's definitely a must-buy now the second parfum that i bought was the joe malone mer and tonka if i'm saying that correctly it's called the cologne intense so if you guys can see that can you see it i've had this a while as well so that's why you can you can see all the markings on it i'm trying to catch it for you guys i don't know if you can see but um yes is the myrrh 
and Tonka cologne intense. Now with this cologne, let me just get the the notes up. So with with um Jo Malone, they usually have like tasting notes, that's what they call them. And in this, let me see if I can smell anything before I read it. Oh yeah, you can definitely smell lavin um lavender lavender lavender. Lavender, lavender. <laughs> In this. That's a, yeah. Obviously, it has tonk in it, or tonka. So, it must have, like, the tonka beans. So, and then it says myrrh. So, it must have myrrh as well. So, I'm, I'm not sure what myrrh is. <laughs> but whatever it is, it smells good. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, so the notes are, ooh, I was right, lavender, um, you have, so lavender is the top note, then the myrrh is the heart note, and then the base note is the tonka beans. Okay. It's, it's definitely a, a strong scent, however, it's not as strong as the Tom Ford, um, Black Orchid. It's more like a light it's more like a light masculine scent it's very very it's very light but i know that this is a very long wearing as well because i've worn this out before or i've sprayed it on my clothes before and i can still smell it the following day so definitely one of the fragrances that's quite long wearing and is a lighter lighter more musky scent um i think because it doesn't have like all the gardenia and the sandalwood and the musk in it that's why it's a bit on the lighter side i feel like colognes that have those ingredients are more on the heavier side so because of that um i feel like it's a bit lighter but definitely one of my favorites so now this usually i'll wear this if i'm going out with my friends or sometimes if i'm going to work it just depends on my mood um but usually this is more to catch up with friends um that i would wear this um parfum so the next one that i got is the ali if i'm saying that right Ali by huda beauty i'm sure you guys can see that I can see it. So it's a Kayali um in vanilla twenty eight, and this is from Huda Beauty brand. Now, I'm presuming that the top note should be vanilla because it's called vanilla. But let's just double check real quick. Um, so it has um Madagascar vanilla orchid, and um, Brazilian tonka must amber patchouli and brown sugar. Okay. You can definitely sit, smell the brown sugar in this, like the sweetness of it. It smells like like candy cane. Like you can definitely smell that. I can smell the patchouli. You can the musk isn't very strong, um, to be honest. And you can definitely smell the vanilla. I think those would be the top fragrances I can smell. Now this is a parfum that I usually wear like when I'm going to bed because I like that sweet, um musky undertone this isn't one that's very long lasting i must say so i usually top this up with other fragrances so this i use as sometimes a night fragrance if i'm going to bed or bring it with me if i'm doing like a staycation somewhere and um, mainly for night time and i also use it as a topper for other fragrances so i usually mix this with other fragrances more like spring orientated fragrances like um the georgia one in my way or like like something else so i definitely mix this quite a lot with other fragrances but on its own i usually more wear it to bed because it's just nice sweet um it just gives me relaxation vibes like i feel like when you go to get a massage or something like that and they're burning the oils and stuff this could be like a scent that you could be relaxed into to get that done so that's what i normally use this one for and to be honest you can use this all year round but again i just like during i think during the cozier months it's just i feel like the scent just linger on you a bit longer um that's how i feel um next up this is one that's not very popular and i don't hear a lot of people talking about it but when i found out about it and i cocked it it was literally so good and i love it so much so this is the Mugler 
um muse um i think this originally came out in 2016 and it's not one of their popular fragrances i know everyone is into angel and alien which i have to but this is definitely an, a great one the only thing i don't like about it is the fact that because of the bottle you can't stand it anywhere like literally you just have to lie it flat they're literally you can't stand that's the only thing i don't like is the shape of the bottle but apart from that it's a gorgeous scent so oh there's definitely musk and patchouli in this one ah i can smell it it's so strong <laughs> um so let's look at some of the fragrances in here so it has the top note of grapefruit pink peppers and hazelnut coconut cream the base note is patchouli mm -hmm, told you gargamont and um sweet earthy tone um don't see musk in here mm, that's surprising yeah the patchouli is really strong and the gargamot oh so this for me is, is a very heavy heavy scent i know it looks really light because you think that heavier scent will be thicker and more concentrated because intense fragrances are normally concentrated but this is a very heavy heavy scent usually i wear this when i'm going to work um like something that's gonna linger and last long so i like that so this is definitely one of my fragrances that i prefer to wear when i know that i have long hours or i don't have time to top up or i'm gonna be busy i'm gonna be on the road all day running errands or going to work this is what i use this fragrance for during the winter time mainly because you might not always have time to run and top up like and grab it and go so this is definitely a heavier scent this last quite i'm trying to remember now this lasts quite a bit of time to be honest i wouldn't say it's one of my longest lasting parfums but it definitely lasts a bit of time i would only say you probably need to top up once once you leave out the house with wearing this um parfum but this, this is one of the parfums that i really feel is slept on i don't hear a lot of people talking about it but definitely if you're into your deeper woodier vibe heavier scent this is definitely one that i would recommend um next on my list is the carolina hajera i'm sure i did not say that right <laughs> the carolina hajera good girl i think it's called a good girl hold on yeah the good girl this is just the original i know she has a lot of different um parfums but this one the one that thing that drew me to this parfum in the first place is this stiletto heels like how can you say no to this let me try and see if i can like really show it to you how can you say no to that that's gorgeous i know she has loads of different um parfums um with in this kind of shape um but my sister recommended me trying this one out and that's how i ended up purchasing it and i this was a blind buy majority of the other parfums i smelled them before purchasing but this one i just ordered online and it was delivered and it smells really really good so it's definitely different from all the other parfums they're more heavier woody you know musky scented but this one seems a little bit lighter but still has some of those elements so let's check out some of the top notes so the notes in this you have coca you have tonka you have almond and you have coffee so you can definitely smell the coffee in this i could definitely smell that when i sprayed it or i'll spray it again i don't really smell the almond as much but the co the coffee and the coca, you can definitely smell that. Ooh. The tonka you can smell as well. It also has two tuberose. Oh, that smells good. It smells good. I forgot what it smells like. It smells good. Um, if I remember correctly, usually when I wear this, it'll be like night outs, maybe to dinner or maybe to a party or to a bar. It's if i can recall i don't think it's one of the longest wearing um parfums that i have but it definitely lasts a couple of hours um definitely definitely a subtle but a, it's like a subtle a subtle winter fragrance a subtle winter fragrance not one that's i wouldn't say it's very popular in regards to this is also a parfum that you won't see a lot of people wearing because every time i've worn this parfum i've had received compliments about this one so it definitely must smell good to the nose 
And then the last one, which I would say is my favourite, but I can't say is my favourite yet because I've not had it long enough. It is my um, Tom Ford Tobacco Vanilla. Um, vanilla? Vanilla. Yeah, it's not vanilla. Vanilla. Yeah, Tobacco Vanilla. I was trying to peel a sticker off, but it wasn't coming off. So, yeah. And this I only got for my birthday as a present as well. And I've been using it for like... Oh, it's that tobacco leaf and the vanilla together is like a match made in heaven. And I've been wanting this for the longest time. So for the fact that I finally have it in my collection is like, how can you not love it? Like even the bottle, everything about it. It's just, it's giving rich, it's giving locks, it's giving money. And that's how I feel when I wear this perfume. I feel like a million dollars. I feel like you can't talk to me. Although you can talk to me. If you see me, talk to me. Say hi. But when I wear this, it's giving me that rich auntie vibes. And who doesn't want to be rich, right? Really. But definitely one of my favourites. And I know, I know that that has um, tobacco leaves. It has vanilla because that's what I can smell. I'm sure it has musk as well because I can smell that. Um, but let's get into it. So according to the Tom Ford website, um, it has a blend of um, tobacco leaves, um, petals, um, original spices, sweet fruit, tonka beans, and wood snaps. Wood snaps. Um, I would have assumed that it would have had musk in there because it does smell a bit heavy. Um, but that's surprising. This, this yeah yeah it doesn't because this this has so much more in it than this this smells so much heavier than this yeah 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 this doesn't have much this is much is lighter to me than the black orchid the black orchid has a lot <laughs> to be honest but um this is light but it smells divine like this i wear for special occasion like date nights or um where when else do I wear it? Or you know, special functions or you know, Christmas dinners or something where you want you want when you walk into a room like your smell you, you like people be like they wanna stop you and ask you what you wear in. So weddings or um event like stuff that I'm all dolled up, full glam, girls night on the town you're looking to meet someone this is what i wear like this is the parfum to pull a guy i'm joking <laughs> i'm either but um yeah really and truly <laughs> really and truly is really really divine um i would say out of all of them to be honest let's be realistic now out of all of them i would say the black orchid is my top because i've had it the longest and i've worn it the longest and i've tested and tried it the longest but if i had to choose right now in this very moment from what i've been loving and what my scent has been scenting <laughs> i would say it is the um tom ford um tobacco vanilla um i i love them all because i wear them all but these are the top six parfums that i've been wearing and loving for the winter period um let me know what your guys' favourite parfums is for winter, if you have any or you just wear the same perfume all year round. As I said, I, I do wear, to be honest, I can speak on everything apart from the Tom Ford, that I've worn them mainly during the winter period because that's when I like to wear them because I have other lighter fragrance for spring, summer. Um, but we'll see what happens with the Tom Ford as we, um, the tobacco vanilla as we move on because i haven't had it long enough to tell you about different seasons um but apart from that that's it that is it so thank you guys for joining me in another video i hope you guys enjoy this i hope you liked my little rundown of what i like to wear and how i wear them and how i use them and if you have any of these parfums definitely jump in the comment box below and let me know let's have a discussion what was your favorite if you have any recommendation for me what you guys are using i love to expand my perfume reach because who who can have enough perfumes no one so definitely jump in the comment box below and let me know i will link these in the description box below if you guys are interested in getting any as well and i think that's it for now so thanks again for joining me on another video and i'll see you in my next one bye for now